My name is Dustin Carr. My name is Mary Carr, and we're the parents of Taylor Carr. And we believe in miracles. I had just picked the kids up from school. We were headed home. Um, we live on a county road. It hadn't rained for days, so there was um, a lot of dust. There was a truck in front of me. I was driving, and I drove right into his dust. And before I had time to react, we hit head on with another car. I didn't necessarily know immediately something was wrong. I thought she had the wind knocked out of her. Then I started to realize that it was way worse and that you know she was dying. Her body started changing colors and doing things that I knew weren't normal. Mainly the first information that, that we had gotten from the doctors there, they had told us that um, Taylor had broke her neck and that she would probably be a quad and be vent dependent under her circumstances and where her injuries were. They just kind of prepared us for that route. You know, if she was to survive, that there was going to be some significant changes to our lives. I was very angry, confused. Um, scared, had a hard time hearing it. Um, there was a point where I couldn't even listen to what the doctors would say, just because I couldn't, I couldn't process it. I refused to process it. I knew how happy and active and the personality Taylor had. I felt that she was being robbed. We didn't let that be an option for us. You know, we know not one time did we think that that was going to be our outcome even after they said that. You know, I, it never set in and we never accepted it and never had to. It was sad seeing mom and dad in the room a lot. The what ifs, you know, like would she ever walk again? I think for me, memories, events went, ran through my mind of her running, her riding her bike those kind of things would still always flash through my head. Uh, would she ever get to do these things again? And they had told us that they don't actually see a lot of these injuries in kids because most of the time they don't survive them. Mom and Dad would tell me everybody would be cheering for me. I knew I would do it because I was already beating all the odds. I remember Dr. King. She actually admitted Taylor into the ER that the night of the accident. She'd had a really exhausting day. She came into our room and she looked at Taylor and she said, she makes me feel good. I needed that. So I came down here to see her. And that was a day that for me, that I knew was going to be better than probably worse. It was like having her all over again as a baby, you know, moving, babbling almost, or walking moving her arms or just, you know, responding to me. It was like having her again, but the meaning behind it was so much more. I mean, like every time she did something for the first time, the feeling that I don't think that, you know, we can even describe doctors and the nurses that took care of Taylor um, at Children's Hospital. Um, the month we were there, treated her just as if they were, her, she was their own child. They treated us like family. They took care of us. They made sure that all of our needs were met. There wasn't you know, one moment that, you know, when they were caring for her, they weren't making sure that we didn't need something. And if we did, they made sure they got it. They made us as comfortable as someone could in the situation. It's just a phenomenal hospital. We couldn't ask for better care for her. They saved her life. My name's Taylor Carr, and I believe in miracles.